Am I ready? I hope literally I put like dramatic music on this or something. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Linar. We're more than a channel, we're a community. Heart Squad, I got something super, super duper nostalgic today. Like super duper nostalgic. That is when we were doing some spring cleaning, even though it's the summer, yes, we were doing some spring cleaning, so let's just get that out of the way right now. My mom found something in the attic that has been sitting there for years and years and years and years and years and years. This thing is right here and I'm so excited because today we're gonna be opening this. This is just a binder and there's nothing in it. Just kidding, there is tons and tons of first edition cards, holographics, all the way from Wizards of the Coast back in 1999 and on. I didn't look through all of it. I only opened up the first page and there was something really, really nice just on the first page. I'm so excited about this because I totally forgot that I even had this binder and I'm excited to go through the rest of the binder and see if there's anything that's like really, really, really rare. I'm, I'm repeating words so much today. This binder is filled with a lot of good stuff from my childhood. So I'm excited to show you guys, take you guys with me on this mini journey of going through this binder and seeing if there's something that is just not only worth something, but it's just worth something to me emotionally, the nostalgia with it. If you haven't already entered in a giveaway for like tons and tons of secret rares, ultra rare cards, you should go check out that video. As soon as you're done watching this video, Heart Squad, enter in that giveaway. There will be multiple winners for cards that are actually worth lots and lots of that gold out But let's open this binder. As you can see, Heart Squad, I have the binder set up right here. And I hope you guys are ready for a trip into the past. Am I ready? I hope really I put like dramatic music on this or something. But -da -da! Oh, there we go. Look at this. Hopefully, there we go. All right, there was like a glare. Look at what we have here. We have a Scyther holographic card from Jungle. And we have some Japanese holographic cards. And we have the man himself. I keep on going like this. I need to be careful because I don't think there's actually sleeves on these cards. But look at this. This has survived the test of time. And let's see if there's a good... Uh, wow. Good job, storage. I mean, this... Can you guys see scratches on this? I really can't see any scratches. I'm okay. As I promise you guys, Heart Squad, as soon as I'm done with this video, I will put these all in proper sleeves. As I literally just opened up this binder when we found it yesterday and was like, there's some good stuff in here, but I can't open it up. I gotta open it up with you guys. There's also some like random stuff over here. What does this say? I think this says, like, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I gotta open this with one hand. This is very, very awkward. Two hours later. We're back and this is what it said. Pokemon League Summer Training Tour 1999. You know this stuff is old when you got an old sticker from the 90s in here. We got some, oh, you know, this must be like a gas, get off sticker, get off. You know this must be like a ghastly rookie card or something because you can't see him. It's like Casper the Ghost. I'll cry enough of those corny jokes for the rest of this video. Let's go through some of these cards because there's a lot to go through right now. Looks like we have the Pidgeot Jungle Japanese. What is this one? It's a horse? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And this guy. Oh my gosh. Is there a sleeve? There's actually a sleeve on this one. This, ladies and gentlemen, look at that rocket. There's a red on the rocket. I'm, I always thought when I first got this card, I traded it with one of my friends. His name is Jason Kim. And if you're watching this, ha! I still got the best of the trade of you for this. Actually, I think I traded him like very, very rare cards for this Meowth card. Because I really, really like cats, if you don't know, and I really, really wanted this Meowth card. But something that was really like interesting about this card as I open this up is that it's very, very shiny, like a plastic film. And I always thought this was a fake card. I don't think it's a fake card. I think it's a cool card. So don't you tell me different wise. But we gotta keep on going through this. We got a Hitmon Lee holographic from Fossil, but look at that. I can't believe the condition that these cards are in. What a great way. And then a, a Kleinstein German Geodude card from Fossil. Wow. And then, oh, kudos to Past Leonhardt. I put these in, looks like types. 
But there's like so many different ones. Like base set two Butterfree, a Venonat. We got trainer cards. Let me make sure you can see it. Oh my gosh. I remember this card right here. I got this card from the uh, Bulbasaur deck. As you can see right there, it has the little Bulbasaur right there. That's so cool. He's just on the little, they're conducting experiments on him. Let him free. But look at all these random cards. You got Jungle, you got Rocket, Japanese ones. You got Coughing, Arbuck. That one's in English. Base set to continue going through this. Just, it's incredible. We got Giovanni's uh, Nidoran, I think. Oh, no way. We got first edition cards, ladies and gentlemen. Is the, and there's like multiple cards. Let's see what's behind this. What's behind door number one? It's a regular Akins. Oh, that's cool. Akins. I need to say his name right or you will castrate me. And then we got some the Oz gang over here. Got a Pinzer right there. And we got some Pettis in the Pettisect gang. Need arenas. A Bellsprout. Look at there's a lot of Bellsprouts in this one. That's a first edition one. And that's just a regular one. This is like a treasure trove. Trove. But this is cool. Wow. Got a Koga's Golbat. Got a Grimer right there. Oh, we have more cards over here. Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. Some Japanese cards. Another Grimer, and oh, look at that. It's a Blaine's Charmander. So, as I said before, these are all by type. So that's pretty cool that I did this way back when. And then a first edition Geodude Fossil card. Very nice. There's this page right here, Golem. Got another, the Diglett Gang over here. We'll go through these pages. Hopefully the glare's not been too bad. And because it looks like it's a mixture of Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket, and uh, Gym Heroes. I think there's some Gym Challenge ones as well. And uh, there's Cubone, Kabuto. It's just so crazy. This, this binder, ladies and gentlemen, with all these cards, is like, this is the original Leonhardt collection. And I can't believe I've had these just sitting in my attic for so long come on leonhardt use your brain next time and i gotta like make sure i don't have any more hidden gems but i used to go to my local comic book store rest in peace when they sold different packs and it would be just i would go hang out there after school why is there so many cards in this one oh it looks like they're on the other side but i'll go ahead and uh see what we can get yeah they're all golding that's very nice Cloister, it's like a, ooh, here we go. Jinx, and she's a single lady and needs no ghastly or haunter. There's some ghastly and haunter right there, actually. So you can go up there and talk to her. Some more cards, we got some double star ones right here. I forgot what series they're from, but that says 1995 to 2000. So I'm not exactly sure which series that was. We got Squirtle, we got Farfetch'd back over here and he's an uncommon as you can see right there he's uncommon and now in evolutions they made him a rare so hey never say you can't grow in life and get to places because that's what farfetch did going from uncommon to a rare there's a do duo base set too you can notice the little two there dos there's some more jungle cards Ooh. First edition Eevee cards. Not bad. Do I have more than one of this one? No, that one's just a regular one underneath, but got a Sparrow first edition, Persian Pharaoh. And we're coming up to some trainers. We got Japanese Team Rocket trainers, Gusta one from base set. All these look like they're from base set. There's some jungle and some more Japanese ones from different series. First edition one. A Pokeball. That is pretty cool. Very nice. And, oh, first edition Tangela. First edition Grimer, Zubat, Ekans. Another first edition Tangela. Man, we're raking in on these first edition cards. And these look like they're all pretty mint, to be honest. I mean, it's not like I've been pulling them out anywhere and using them. A ton of ponytails over here. That's crazy. Execute some more cards there. 
Volpix, calm down. I know you want to jump out. There's Arcanine, Kadabra, some more Jinx, Independent Woman. It's got some Pikachus right here. Red Cheeks, that's pretty cool. This just keeps on going. There it is, Fossil Ghastly, first edition. We got the Magikarp himself. This is the original base set Magikarp. Hashtag Magikarp Army. First edition Horsey, Ammonite, Krabby, Star You. Kingler and the Tentacool, first edition. Oh, that's so cool. There's so many first edition cards. Geo, dude, another one. Sand slash first edition. Machoke, a random sleeve that's just in the thing. Why aren't you on a card doing what you do best and protecting the cards? Pidgeotto, that was one of my favorite cards for some reason way back when. It just looks cool. Pidgeotto's really cool. Here's some more trainer cards. Ooh, first edition. Mr. Fuji, how you doing? Looking nice today. And then another trainer. And then here we are at tons and tons of energy cards. I wonder if I have any first edition energy cards. Yeah, here we go. Unlisted Leaf, first edition card. That's pretty cool. Even though they're energies, it's really, really cool to see first edition cards. There's another one right there. Oh look, it says Heart Squad right there. Remember to like and subscribe. There is some more energy cards. And <laughs> oh, what do you know? Even more cards. Shoot, if anyone like wants some of these cards, please let me know. There's Yellow Cheek Pikachu, pretty cool. Wow, look at that Togepi. It's another one of the double stars. Well, I'm forgetting the name where it's from. You can let me know in the comment section, but if y'all can, please let me know your favorite card that you saw in this binder. I mean, the binder just keeps on going and going like the energy energizer bunny. There's one of my favorite Squirtles, a Team Rocket Squirtle. Some more Japanese card from Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, I believe. Pretty cool. Look at that Jinx right there. That's also from the Bulbasaur deck. That's so cool. And that also is to the Meowth. I can't believe it. This is such a nostalgic blast from the past. See, there's the Bulbasaur thing. And then that is it. There is nothing else. So that was the binder, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we we found some gold today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my trip to the nostalgic past because I, I enjoyed it myself, but if you really did, please let me know in the comment section your favorite card. I may either sell these or give these away, I'm not sure, but for now, this is just, it was amazing to step, take a step in the past and see cards that I grew up, I remember like, the memories were flooding in my mind of when I traded for each of these, because some of them I didn't even know I had. Other ones like that Meowth card, it was, it was so cool to just, the memories coming back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.